I get out of this thing? This is ridiculous. Oh, hi. Sorry. While you were gone, I was trying to figure out how to get out of this darn thing. Instead of struggling and getting angry, sometimes you've got to get into it to let it go. Get where I'm going with this? Understanding how your brain reacts to your pain is one of the crucial steps to getting you out of pain. If you don't believe me, check out this study. Researchers dedicated to investigating pain in humans performed a study that evaluated the brain activity of a patient with persistent pain, very similar to what you're going through right now. In the first row, you see the brain activity with the patient at rest. No red areas, which means no significant alarm bells going off. In the second row, the patient is told to move her painful back. See all those red areas that popped up? These are areas of the brain that are processing the brain experience and boy, do they light up even with the slightest movement. But what's most interesting is the third row. After the same patient had a short 30 minute session of pain education, she was told to repeat the same movements as they scanned her brain. Look at the scan now. You'll notice a lot fewer red areas popping up and she was even able to do the activity better with less pain. Proof right before your eyes that just learning about pain and how it works can really calm down your brain and ease your pain. Okay, it's pop quiz time! Woo! Bet you didn't see that coming. Let's really test your pain knowledge. So go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pen to jot down your answers. True or false? The brain decides when you will experience pain. Pain only happens when you're injured. Chronic pain means that your injury hasn't healed properly. Worse injuries always result in worse pain. Stress can directly impact your pain response. Okay, let's review the answers. The brain decides when you will experience pain. This is true. Pain is produced 100% in the brain. Say what? I know what you're thinking. So you think this is all in my head, right? Well, your brain is you, silly. Here's how it works. Your skin has receptors called nociceptors, which are nerve receptors that send signals from your body up through the spinal cord where a couple of words are exchanged and the message continues traveling up to reach the brain. Here, the brain receives the message and has to then make a decision if you're in danger or not. If the brain interprets the message as danger, 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 it will send a signal back down, allowing you to feel something. The brain's job is to protect you 